morning everyone today me and Max are going to pie balls and I went yesterday with Taylor but I was like they're so freaking good I want another one so we're going back oh and I've been meaning to show this forever it's from Cape Shark it's the cutest little crop top and yeah ready yes yes I'm hungry. <laughs> it's been so hard to wake up ever since I got my heated mattress pad, guys. Look at it, and you just have your little thing right there. It's like, I really don't know how I lived all these years without, without it. So yeah. <laughs> oh, and if you guys haven't noticed, I kept my belly button piercing out since the MRI. What do you think? I feel weird without it. But yeah, let me know what you think. Hi, vlog. Oh. <laughs> I hope you can see me right now, but I left my vlog camera at home after telling you we were getting acai bowls, but they're really good. Can you see? Yeah, they're freaking good. What do you think, Baba? Hopefully they can see you right now. So good. You guys, I've been getting the cutest stuff from Fabletics. This video isn't with them or anything, but I just filmed a little Instagram story haul, and this is so cute. I'm gonna work out later, but first I wanna get some food, and then I gotta show you guys, because like I said, I think in my last vlog, or the vlog before, I've been working on cleaning out my closet. I have a bunch of stuff to show you guys that I need to sell on Poshmark right there. So I'm gonna show you some stuff that I'm posting today, which is really exciting, because I gotta get this rolling, and I gotta continue the clean out of this closet, which will be later. But yeah, now I'm hungry because that acai bowl was yum, but I feel like they don't fill me up for that long. So let's find some food. <laughs> Guys, if you saw my last vlog, I went to Trader Joe's with Taylor and then I picked up Max and I go, Max, I have a special surprise. I don't think I vlog this, but I go, I have a surprise. I got something bad. And he goes, did you get cinnamon rolls? And I literally got them. Okay, well, that's not lunch, but maybe I'll make those tomorrow. Ooh, maybe I just want, like, a snacky lunch. Literally, when I was on the lightweight rowing team in high school, you don't know what my lunch would be. It was so sad. I would eat carrots, hummus, and pretzels. It probably was, like, two calories, but I just, like, wasn't eating enough. Ooh, I could make rice, potatoes, but I want to work out later. I don't know what I want. Okay, you guys, when I said carrots and hummus, it really made me want carrots and hummus, so I'm gonna eat some of that. I found some leftover brown rice that I made the other day, and I don't know how all of this goes together, but I've been meaning to talk about these on my channel, I think, forever. I don't know if I ever have, but literally, these are the yummiest things in the world. I know it look, maybe looks scary, but it's spicy jalapeno with chicken sausage from Trader Joe's. And a girl that I lived with this summer, Hannah, um, showed them to me and I was like, I'm scared. Like, it's like already cooked basically and you just like heat it up. But she was like, okay, try a bite and then you'll see. And literally I put them in the microwave. I know that probably sounds so scary, but I swear if you like grocery shop for yourself or whatever, just pick this up at Trader Joe's if you like, like, I don't know, meat. Because I'm too scared to cook like chicken that's raw in the pan. I do sometimes, but I don't know, it's scary for me, so it's nice that this is like already cooked and I literally throw it in the microwave and they taste so yummy. Like me and Louisa would eat these all the time. Louisa loves eating these like I do, but anyway, I know that's funny. <laughs> Meat review. <laughs> oh, also I figured I would eat a sweet potato. So I'm gonna make one of these as well in the microwave. Lazy hacks. Okay, you guys, this is how it turned out. Rice, I know the sausages look weird, but I swear they're good, and a sweet potato and hummus. I don't really know what I was planning on happening here. This is really weird, and I don't know how it's gonna taste. I always eat like the randomest crap together. I would have put like avocado or vegetables in there, but my avocados went bad, and yeah, I don't know. I'm just feeling lazy, and I'm just eating carrots on the side. So, got <laughs> here's lunch. <laughs> this is why I never so show food that I make at home because. Michael, what is this? It doesn't even make sense. Okay, so you guys, now that I'm done with my weird lunch, I wanted to show you guys some of the items I've been cleaning out of my closet. And like I showed last time when I was showing you guys stuff I was selling on Poshmark, I tried to grab a bunch of different types of items and like reasons that I would be selling them, if that makes sense. Like some things are too small, some are too big, some I've just worn a bunch and know that I like aren't, isn't, what? And <laughs> know that I'm not gonna wear anymore. 
And then one thing I grabbed, Max actually told me this the other day, and I think it's such a good idea. He was like, I heard this thing that um, you're supposed to, like starting in the year, you're supposed to have all your hangers faced one way, and then whenever you wear something, you put it on the hanger and turn it around. And then at the end of the year, all the hangers that aren't turned around, you know that you haven't worn all year, and you get rid of because you haven't worn it all year. And I'm like, wait, I need to do that. That's such a good idea. So like, I'll just show you. This top, for example, I think is so cute. I probably got it like a year ago. And I don't think I've ever worn it. I've maybe worn it once, and it, I just always see it sitting there. I don't know. I feel like I just don't wear tube tops, or I don't really have, like, a use for it. Maybe, like, only in the summer. Ugh, I can't speak. <laughs> but I always feel like my shoulders are cold. I don't know. That's weird of me to say. But even when it's warm out, I always feel like my shoulders are cold. Like, I'm freezing right now in the sports bra. Like, I can't wait to put on a sweatshirt. Um, so... Yeah, so I feel like I never really wore this, so I'm going to put this on Poshmark. I don't even know where it's from. Honey Bell, size small. So if you want, like, cute white tube top, I think it's so cute, I just never wore it. So that's, like, a good example for that that I'm going to be selling on Poshmark. And I want to mention, you guys can download Poshmark for free with my link down below in the description box. So definitely check it out. And I know you can, like, refer people on there, so if you use my code Gretchen with 5 ends, I think you get $5 off your, like, first purchase, I'm pretty sure. Um... So yeah, might as well check it out. And that's my closet name as well. It's just Gretchen with five ends. You can check out all the clothes I'm selling. Like I said, I'm really trying to be good at cleaning out. I have so much to put on there, but be patient with me because it like takes me a while to go through everything. But then posting things is actually like really easy because I think it's not only such a good place to like buy clothes, but also sell clothes if you guys are like cleaning out your closets. So I would definitely recommend trying out Poshmark for not only like buying, but also selling. And you guys should comment down your usernames Comment below, I can't speak today. Comment down below your usernames on Poshmark so we can all like shop each other's closets. Oh my gosh, can you hear the wind outside right now? It's so windy. Um, but yeah, I just think that's a really good idea because I've told this story like many times I feel, but I would always go on Poshmark to find things that I like would want like at Urban Outfitters and then they'd be sold out or they wouldn't be, I really can't speak, but then like the sweater would be sold out or they wouldn't sell it anymore so then I could like find it on Poshmark. You know what I'm saying? So, yes. <laughs> I just think it's a really good way to, yeah, clean out your closet, make some money along the way. And I think it's really good for the environment as well to be, like, reusing clothes that somebody else isn't going to wear instead of buying new clothes. And, yeah, just, like, the whole clothing industry is so wasteful. I have gotten into that in videos before, though, so I won't. I will for you. Anyway, I grabbed a pile. These things I all like love and I think they're so cute, but I really needed Max's help. He was helping me go through things. Um, and he was like, you wore them so much this past summer, like you're not gonna wear it again. Or like you have so many other skirts that you haven't worn that you should wear. So like get rid of these because you don't have room for them all. You know what I mean? So that's like perfect example. Like this makes me sad. I'm gonna be really sad posting these today. All of these are gonna go up today. Um, but like, I just don't have room. Like, I can finally close my dresser drawers. You feel me, people? So, this skirt, so stinking cute. It's just like this lace-up, ribbed, um, suede skirt. Is that what it's called? I remember it's from Princess Polly. Yeah, so cute. So, check that out if you're interested. This is so cute, too. This is making me sad. But, like, if you're like me and you're like a shopaholic, you don't have enough room for all your stuff and you gotta go through it. So, this is for my favorite, like, bottoms brand like denim like shorts pants skirts it's by the brand it's by the brand a goldie in a size 27 and it's just this really cute denim skirt but i literally looked at my instagram and all my pictures of summer were in it so i was like okay gretchen go to wear new stuff this i had like a full day photo shoot in this is from lf so cute it's by the brand first of a kind and it's just black denim has really cool zippers i literally have so many pictures in this so yeah, and then these I lived in this summer. These are from Honey Bomb. They're so cute. They're so high-waisted and they're just ripped down the front and they have like red, white, and blue stripes on the side. And Max was like, we were like, I almost should keep these to wear for 4th of July, but I was like, I'm sure I have other red, white, and blue stuff. So these are so cute, but again, wore them all summer. So yes. Oh, okay. This perfect example. So this is like the cutest set ever, right? I literally just got this from Fabletics. If you saw my story haul with them, but I realized these bottoms are way too small on me and that was just like me being stupid um, because I do, like this is from Fabletics right now, so cute and it fits like good, like it's stretchy but, and like tight but like stretchy, like not too tight. Okay, 
So these bottoms I got in an extra extra small slash extra small and it's already like pushing it that I get extra smalls. So the extra extra small portion of this, this is just like, these are way too small on me. I literally can't get them up like around my butt. I had to like yank them on. <laughs> so yeah and I think they fit like too short on me like crops I feel like are supposed to go here and they're like here on me so anyway um, I know one of you is gonna get way better use out of this and it will fit you properly so this is just like the cutest blue set literally you can see the tags are still on it but I'm gonna post this just because it doesn't fit me so yeah I mean the sports bra fits me but I'm not just gonna like sell the pants like I'll put them together so that you have a cute matching set you feel me Okay, last but not least, I'm going to show these Levi pants, which are so cute, but these are for the opposite reason. These are too big, and um, whatever size they are, I want to say these are like a 27 in Levi's. I got them from Princess Polly. Whatever size I ordered on there, I'll put like on Poshmark. Um, but then now I started going a size down and I literally just got Levi's that look just like this but a size smaller so they actually fit me. Um, and these are just too loose, like the front like slouches down like that. But I think they're so cute and yeah, they're adorable. Oh, I love how they cuff at the bottom and they have like the big rips in the knees. And these were like expensive jeans and I wore them like literally twice but I do have a pick on Insta in them so. <laughs> anyway. These will go in there too just because they're too big so as you can see there's like a bunch of different reasons I would sell something on Poshmark um, and yeah I just wanted to show you guys that stuff really quick and talk to you about it in case you're interested because I feel like people are always asking you when are you selling more stuff on Poshmark and bear with me it's coming it just takes me a while to go through everything and I'm a hoarder and really bad at getting rid of things so that is that again you can download Poshmark for free with the links down below they have so many brands on there guys like I already showed like Honey Bun, Fabletics, Princess Polly what's the other one? Oh, like a Goldie there's obviously like Lululemon there's like Nike designers like I know there's like Michael Kors like there's probably like Louis Vuitton like you know there's so much on there so definitely recommend use my code Gretchen with five ends and that's that. I have to go work out, but like, I'm like full from just eating that weird lunch. <laughs> so I don't really know. Oh, this is so zoomed in. Hello. <laughs> Wait, Maxi, take myself. a guess on who you think goes home. And follow my heart Quick. like I have every step uh, in this journey so far. I don't know. Wait, I think I thought it was one person, but because of what Taylor told me, I think it's someone else. I mean, the vlog is gonna see after. I used to think it was someone else, but now I think it's Kaylin, and I thought Kaylin was oh. gonna be in, like the top two. Her. Tasha. Tasha's who I thought was going home because she was talking shit about Cassie and Kaylin, remember? She was being mean to them. That's who your money's on for the finale. So. You, oh, you already know. You, you think Hannah No, I you think Hannah G wins. Yeah. Hannah. I never thought Hannah G won and now I'm like maybe she does. I think Cassie Loki actually does, even though she doesn't seem ready because she's not like even saying to him that she loves him yet. Guys, I'm freaking out. She knows it too. Wait, unless Cassie goes home, I'm shook. I thought Cassie was gonna win. They just wow. held hands. Who held hands? Kaylin and Cassie. and Cassie. Yeah, because they're buddies. They're both freaking out. When you're ready. Okay, I really think Cassie wins. Kaylin has to go home. But I thought Kaylin and him were like tight from the beginning. Wow, he is. He is so stressed. Oh my god, if Kaylin goes home, that's gonna be a really sad goodbye. Oh my god. Cassie looks stressed and so does Kaylin. I'm telling you, Cassie. Okay, we knew it. I cannot believe he's sending Kaylin home. Oh, she looks so sad. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, she looks so sad. Mmm. How? Why? What? Why? Jalen, I'm sorry. Take a moment. Say goodbye. She looks so sad. Okay, literally, just wants Cassie because she's like playing hard to get. She's like, I don't know how I feel. I can't believe that again. I'm shook. Cassie definitely went. Ugh. It's either Cassie or Hannah. I don't want to know because I always know going into the seasons I know, but I this year I don't know. You know. No. Do you know for sure? No, I'm confused because I've read a couple different things. Huh. Yeah. So we must pick Cassie and then she's not ready and then they just date or not engage or something. I don't know. And no one comment in this video and tell me what happens because I'm going to be mad. <laughs> Guys, I'm sad. Did he say anything? Kaylin's so cute and nice. I'm like a big fan of her. I'm sad. She looks so sad. Mm. Good morning everyone. Happy Tuesday, the saddest thing just happened. Look at this. Okay, I was trying to open my favorite Too Faced bronzer. Look at where it ended up. I opened it and then it like cracked because it hit that and then it bounced into there and it's just everywhere and I just cleaned my bathroom and I don't know what to do I'm sad plus I need to leave <laughs> perhaps you don't understand this is a big deal this is really sad <laughs> Tuesdays and Thursdays normally where I bring my vlog camera with me to class because I have my children's literature class and my strategy class back to back and I'm always like oh maybe I'll vlog but I never do so here we are um, my first class is really fun though because children's literature is like interesting because I've never taken a class like that before and then I'm with um, Arlen and my friend Abby so it's like a fun time but anyway I just wanted to kind of share something that's on my mind right now I just ate lunch so sorry if I have food in my teeth um, but yeah basically I feel like a lot has been happening in the past like two weeks that has been really sad and just like sad news and bad things going on and not only with me with like the torn ACL obviously but like um a lot of sadness just with like friends and family and relatives and like bad things that happen in the world and I don't know I just kind of wanted to talk quick about like staying positive and that is like the biggest number one feedback I get from you guys in my videos that I'm just so positive and I remember I never really thought of myself as like such a positive person like I didn't realize that until all of the comments on all my videos were like how do you stay so positive and I was like what and I feel like I've always kind of wanted to make like a whole video on this but I feel like I could talk for three hours about it um and I don't want to like I don't know how to say it in the right way I don't want to like glaze over um the topic generally and maybe like discount people that like can't stay positive and like have a problem with that and I think there's something to be said for that like if you honestly like can't get out of bed in the morning and really can't think positive thoughts and think you may be depressed like I urge you to see a doctor I think that mental illness needs to be treated just like any other illness or torn ACL and you know what I'm saying so anyway I just wanted to like mention that because I don't want any of you to be like okay easy for you to say like you don't you know you don't like go through what I go through you don't like live in my brain type of thing if you know what I'm saying sorry I like overthink everything kind of because I just don't want to offend anyone but basically all I'm trying to say is I feel like there's always points in your life that are going to be like really tough or like just a lot, like a lot of bad things seem like they're happening at once like everyone's relatives are sick or in the hospital or like you're injured with your torn ACL and things aren't going right but I just want to say that in those times it's even more important to like stay positive because I already catch myself like I haven't even gotten surgery yet. I'm getting surgery in like one week for my torn ACL um, and I already find myself like frustrated and down and sad about it and I just need to like remind myself like Gretchen these are like the moments that are like the most important to stay even more positive. I'm like getting emotional. Wow didn't think that was gonna happen. <laughs> when do I not cry my videos but like I don't know I just want everyone to like try to stay as positive as they can because 
like everything works itself out one way or the other that's I feel like what my dad always said growing up like everything always has a way of working itself out like you just always have to put yourself in a position where you're like trying your best like thinking best thoughts that you can and like I don't know putting like the good energy into the universe and like manifesting good things to happen so yeah okay I'm gonna stop talking now because I'm just crying <laughs> but everyone like I don't know squeeze your loved ones send your prayers like I don't know I need to chill out and I need to go do my exercises for my knee because that's something that puts me in a way better headspace and mindset and even though I can't really exercise like I used to pre torn ACL anything I do is going to be good for up here even if it's not doing much for my body you know what I'm saying and it still is like physical therapy works wonders so I'm going to keep doing that um and I do want to show you guys like maybe like a <laughs> workout routine with torn ACL like show you like what I've been doing what I think is helping me in case you've gone through the same thing and I know so many of you have gone through the whole torn ACL dealio so I do want to show that if you saw in my clips from yesterday at the gym there was like other people in there so I couldn't really like film this whole thing but um maybe like later in the week on today's Tuesday maybe on like Thursday or Friday I can show you like a whole dealio and talk about that more because that's something that I do want to show you guys um, yeah, okay, seems like my tears have subsided, and my message is just stay positive if you can, if you can, like, think the best in situations, and maybe brush off, like, mean things that people say to you, or, like, literally, I always think of it, like, whenever something bad happens to me in a day, like, say, a professor is rude to me, or someone else does something that upsets you, whatever it may be, I always think, like, wow, what did I just learn from that and why can I be thankful that that happened I know that sounds kind of weird but like if something bad happens I'm like what can I be thankful for in this situation so like I always think about like if people don't treat you right I'm like I'm thankful that I now have learned what I don't deserve to be treated like you know what I'm saying by coaches professors boyfriends girlfriends friends whatever it may be if you're like I know that I'm being treated like disrespectfully right now that then you know like from now on I don't deserve this if that makes sense I'm gonna stop rambling just wanted to talk about that quick um, and yeah I also need to study for midterms because I have a big children's literature midterm Thursday morning so I'll probably study later as well I know Lucy needs to study for an exam she has tomorrow and I feel like I don't show studying that much here on my channel because um, it's boring and I'm so stressed and focused on that but the last thing I'm thinking about is like vlogging when I look like poop and I'm like studying but Maybe I can show that later because I feel like everyone's like, do you do school? Are you in school? And I'm like, heck yeah, I am, girlfriend. Just really trying to graduate over here. So, okay, that's all. <laughs> Oh guys sorry there was another guy in here before so I think I just showed you some arms from like a weird angle but like I woo, like I said on Thursday or something hopefully I can find a time where no one's in here and I can show like everything but I basically just finished up today was actually the first day that I tried biking because I've been scared that it was gonna like hurt my knee um, but I really just wanted to be as strong as possible going into surgery next week so I biked for like a half an hour just like lightly sitting nothing like soul cycle unfortunately um, and then I went into my arms and my abs and then all my little like PT exercises for my knee I'm like really impressed with my range of motion and how much I can bend it and like fully straighten it like that's So good and nothing near where it started when I could like literally only keep it like this couldn't straighten it couldn't bend it so Yes um, Now another thing that's really great. I wanted to say is basically with the knee brace being so tight and like going right here around your um, what's this called? Shin calf. <laughs> Going around your calf. I was having the worst, um, what's it called? Like cramps, like tightness in my calves and I could like rub it out all I wanted but it really wasn't helping um, because I didn't have enough like range of motion to make my leg straight to like stretch it. But now, so now I finally have enough range of motion that I can straighten my leg 
and get a good like calf stretch, which like is such a blessing because my calf was giving me so many issues. Like oh. <laughs> they get so tight. If anyone else has had like an ACL injury, please let me know if your calves are just like insanely tight. So stretching, rolling out, etc., is helping. But yeah, basically, I just feel so much better after doing like everything I can for my little knee. Hello. Um, yeah, but then basically I feel like it gets even more swollen. Like I can feel it. You can kind of see, this is kind of where, well, it's hard because I'm wearing black leggings, but oh, you can, a little bit. It gets all um, TMI filled with blood right there and really swollen, so I still have to ice every day. I'm gonna go ice, but yeah. I was saying that like, I was telling Lucy, when I don't wear my brace if I'm like being careful working out or like other things I almost feel normal so yeah I'm feeling good stretched out mobile and now I'm gonna go ice hi guys I'm feeling discouraged but I have to remember my talk earlier I talked to them about like being positive it was I uh, just had like a that? rough day yes did you guys hear that that was my water bottle no not water bottle <laughs> water jug but it's so heavy. I went to office hours for like two hours. I hyped it so hard, I was like, it's gonna be in half. I was so scared. Huh? Oh, with your thing. Because it's so heavy that if you like, if because you like hold it and you're trying to put it to your mouth and then it hit my tooth, because it's really heavy, so it just kind of like, you know, I don't know, couldn't handle it. Anyways, continue. All I was saying is, I went to office hours for two and a half hours, and so my brain is like fried. But I knew that I had a bunch of sweet potatoes <laughs> and broccoli in the fridge. They kind of look like carrots and broccoli, so I cut them all up. Did you use the new sweet potatoes I got? No, just my old ones. And I put a bunch of olive oil, salt and pepper, and I'm gonna roast them. Okay, you guys, my um, children's literature class I thought was gonna be easy, literally isn't easy. It's like so much reading. It's probably the class I've worked the hardest in this semester so far. And she gave us a like massive study guide for the midterm, which is actually gonna be so helpful. It's just gonna take a long time to like prepare for it. But then once I actually read like all of the poems, all the quotes, all the parts of like novels that we've read that are gonna be on the midterm, it's gonna be helpful. So I'm just gonna read this right now. Um, I'm not gonna really bore you though and show me reading, but I, I swear that's what I'm doing. We went over William Wordsworth, There Was a Boy poem today. Have you guys read any of this? Um, oh, we talk about, this is also really nice too, don't you love when teachers give you, well, professors, I mean, say teacher, I feel like that's not right in college, professor. I love when professors give you, like, the format of the exam, because that's so helpful, so she told us, like, it's going to be on cautionary tales, fairy tales, um, doctrine of original sin with childhood and romantic conception of childhood, those are just, like, big things that we talk about in our course, has any of you taken a class like this? Um, so that's nice that I know what to talk about. And she gave us a little index card that we can write like definitions on. So that's gonna be helpful. I'm about to write like as small as I possibly can. Um, yeah, we're reading Jane Eyre right now. We read A Little Princess. We have all sorts of poems like Bluebeard poems, which are really scary. Um, Donkey Skin, Cinderella, stuff like that. Yeah, so. Have any of you done any of this? You probably know way more than I do. Because I do do all the readings and everything, and I'm like as prepared as I can be, but I feel like I just, I'm just not like an English reading person. So everyone that speaks in class is like so analytical and is like, this connects with this, and this means this, and I'm just like very objective, like this is how it is, you know what I mean? So, anyway, yeah, this is me studying. Okay guys, yum. My vegetables just cooked for probably like half an hour, 40 minutes, and they turned out so yummy. <laughs> oh, and obviously not eating two pans by myself, so then I'll have a lot for the next couple days. So guys, remember earlier how I said the importance of being positive if you can. Well, today just got harder and harder, but Hi. sometimes there's a thick. Even if you can't be positive on your own, you can squish the ones that you love. And oh. if all else fails, there are cinnamon buns that can do nothing other than put you in a good mood. So, oh, 
Um, basically, if you guys saw, I just picked up these cinnamon rolls at Trader Joe's and I had them once before and they're so good and they're like accidentally vegan. So all you vegans out there, go crazy. Um, I think it went something like that, but I ripped it. So, I'm pumped because this is gonna bring some joy to today. <laughs> you guys, I forgot to take my care of this morning and so I'm taking it right now. And this is crazy. The quotes always literally have to go with like what I'm doing that day. It says, there are two ways of spreading light to be the candle or the mirror that reflects it. And literally, I've been talking about like positivity all day. Okay, let's take my vitamins. I feel like when you're sad also, and like a lot's going on and you're overwhelmed and stressed and stuff, the best thing you can do is literally, the best thing you can do is literally like keep up with just like little things. Like, like I just put on like a night, like face mask, like a really moisturizing face mask. And like brush my hair and put on clean like comfy pajamas. And like made my bed, well my bed was made. But I turned on my heated, heated mattress pad to get it warming up. And I'm gonna go to bed early and sleep like 10 hours. Like, you know what I mean? Just like little things of taking care of yourself. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I've talked about this in a video before. Okay, hang on, I'm holding all my vitamins. Let me just take a couple. I just do it in like two. I do it in like two swallows every time. Cause I take five pills or something, so I just split them. <laughs> I never have my call, my ringer on. I just had it on because I'm expecting a call. Mm -mm -mm. I just spilled water everywhere. Every single time I drink water throughout the day now, I don't know what's getting gotten into me. I always spill it down my face, and that probably just made a noise when it hit the ground, and you could hear it. I'm a wreck. Oh, what I was trying to say, I'm all over the place, is. Mandy told me this before when I was having like a really rough time going through a rough time and she was like Gretchen What my mom said to me when I was going through When was she really sad? I think when she was going through a breakup. She was like what my mom said to me was um Like get enough sleep work out take care of yourself get your nails done brush your hair Put on your makeup like look presentable be like your best self because when the clouds go away and it stops raining and this sh and the sun comes out you're gonna want to shine or like something like that i just totally butchered that yes and so i was just telling my mom that because i think that's i think that's really cute and i think that's like a good that thing mandy said that too. no yeah she did say that to me I was just telling them that because my care of is oh, literally like. Oh, she just like, told you that, or? I was just telling them that. Because I, Mandy, Mandy said, said that in the past. Ago. Yeah, yeah. It says there are two ways of spreading light to be the candle or the mirror that reflects it, which mm -hmm. I don't really know if I know exactly what that means, but I think it means you can either be like the light and the happiness. Or see the light within people and like look like that. Oh my god, that's totally what it means. See, that's see, awesome. you like see things and like analyze them. I just see them as they are. I'm like a mirror, I don't get it. <laughs> um, anyway, our cinnamon buns are cooking, people. <laughs> okay guys, here's how they turned out. Wow. This is your first time having them, right? They smell incredible. <laughs> I just downed a lot of pasta, but here I'm we go. So Okay, so this vlog ended up being <gasps> all over the place. It is 10, 15, and we're going to bed early. I just took a melatonin because yeah, I, I knew, know. like I've been staying up so late that I knew I wouldn't be able to go to sleep this early, but I already feel sleepy. And yeah, now yeah, you're making me Now you're yawning. <laughs> <sighs> Cheers to early bedtimes. I know this vlog was, yeah, probably all over the place. I know. Oh, I showed more stuff I've been posting on Poshmark. Again, you can click the link down below to download Poshmark for free if you haven't already, and check out my closet. It's just scratching with five ends. And then I showed you a little bit of my workouts, but I'm gonna do like a whole workout routine later in the week. Mm. And stay positive, people. <laughs> okay, love mm. you. See you in my next video. Bye.